All right, welcome back to Do You Dance Hill. We have a Nelson tractor lawn sprinkler that has gotten clogged or something is wrong with the mechanism. It is not revolving and no water is coming out. So something has gotten in the works of this thing. So we need to go check it out and hopefully unclog it. Uh, worst case scenario, these old Nelson lawn sprinklers, everyone has seen them, uh, they... You can replace this whole section right here. That's worst case scenario. So let's hope we can unclog it and just uh, put it back in action. To get started, the easiest thing about this is just taking these old rotors off. These nylon threads right here, carefully just unscrew them. This is all aluminum, nylon, and plastic. So be very careful. As they get old, they get very fragile. So those just come off like that. Keep this with the rotor. This part has to come off for anything else to come out of there. All you have to do is, it's not in there very tight. Just press down and turn it until it comes out. It will turn a long time before it comes out, but it will eventually come out of there. Don't get frustrated. Like so, these are the gears that hold it in there. They don't go on tight, but they do go on. And as these revolve, it spins them the direction that tightens it down. That way it won't pop out of there on you. All right, so I have taken the liberty of freeing up these old screws because they are rusty. So put a little oil on them, some penetrating oil. I have no particular kind that I like. They all seem to work the same. Use them outside because they smell really bad. But I have taken the liberty to take these off of there. I'm gonna pick this up and show you something on here. These are Phillips head screws. Do not bother using the Phillips head screw part of this. It is also a 9 16 ratchet that will come off of there. That way it is a much more secure grab. It is rusty and uh, you will strip out that screwdriver part. So all you have to do is free it up. Unscrew them off of here. Your 9 16 bolts are right here, right here, right here, right here, and right there. These will be rusty. I just put some penetrating oil on there last night and just let it soak and give it a few taps. Now it's freed up. I wanted to spare you all the uh, cussing and funny faces that I make while I free those things up because they were pretty tight. But uh, we just need to take that off of there. These will be rusty when they come out. I have a bowl full of water and Dawn dishwashing liquid all set to go. They're pretty rusty, so we want to dunk that, let it soak. We'll clean those up. You hear that sound? It sounds like sand in there. That's rust. We will clean up the threaded hole and we'll clean off the bolts. And before we put these back in, we will grease them. Now that all your screws are out, see these holes right here? They are to let water out. This unit is not waterproof. Water goes in here and it goes through the process, comes out the top. But it doesn't matter if the rest of it gets wet, they're all nylon gears. After the bolts are out, this whole unit just lifts right off. Worst case scenario, we can replace this yellow block right here. I've done it before. I've had to replace this on here once before. I bought it used at a garage sale for $5 just because it did not have a drive system that was working. The only thing that was wrong with it was they were missing some teeth on the gears in here. I'll show you those in a second. And uh, I ordered it straight from Nelson. They sent this whole unit here. I just replaced it on my lawn tractor sprinkler and uh, it was all good after that. 
once you've got all the screws taken out of the body, right here, put this unit somewhere that'll hold it securely. Once it comes apart, you don't want the wheels and gears to all fall out of there because they will. And what we're going to do is take the main bottom part of this body where the hose goes and just clean it out. Let it soak. Use cleanser. Whatever it takes to get the gunk out of there. Once the screws are out, all you have to do is just lift this off. Here's all your gears and how they go together. It's not a bad idea to take a picture of how that goes in there. This device right here, under the wheels, is like a derailer on a bicycle. It changes gears on this thing. You have neutral, which is in now. You have low gear and high gear. As long as these are in good shape, this whole unit is good. If these get stripped out and start missing teeth, you have to replace this, which isn't a big deal because Nelson is still in business. So. This is our little culprit right here. It is clogged up. The screen had come out of there and let the dirt that was in the hose go right on the unit, which is very bad. But just soak it in some cleanser, give it some time, and start working it through. We'll give it about five minutes. All right, we've given it a few minutes to soak. Now we'll see if we can blow it out, try to free up the clog that's in there, and uh, get this thing freed up. It's going to get dirty during this. So. There it went. This here is the plunger. This is what triggers the stop device when it gets pressed in like that. So you can leave this thing running. As long as you have the ram to put the stop device on there, it'll turn itself off. So make sure this is free and working well. Make sure all of your clog is out of there. It sounds good. That's what was in there. A lot of dirt and uh, some hair. It will have a damper on the performance of this device. Seems to be free of the clog. Water traveling through. It's not being held back. Looks like we are ready to reinstall. You want to make sure all your teeth here are all clean before you put this unit back together again. If you have a little bit of white lithium grease, that is great for these nylon gears. If not, just make sure they're clean. This is going to get wet. Any regular grease will just melt right off of there. So make sure no these items are blocked. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and before you reattach, put a little grease right here on each one of these and clean these really well. That's rust, that comes from the screws that are in there. If you can, go to your hardware store, get the exact same screw, but in stainless steel, you'll avoid this whole rust situation. Nelson is a great company, but they put regular steel on their parts for items that are going to get really wet. So what they're thinking, I don't know, but it does rust. So be careful about doing that. Don't tear up any threads, don't break your plastic housing. And it, this item right here is the derailer. Just drop this one gear, 
right in between those. See how that fits? Before you screw it down to the base, check your gears in here. When these wheels turn, you can see some of the gears inside turning as well. It is in neutral right now. So only this one gear will turn. If you slide this over in gear, it'll engage other gears down in here. That's what drives this thing when the water goes through it. So make sure you are turning free and the gears look good. Then replace your cap. Make sure it all fits nice well. No spaces. This is how it goes together here. There's tabs there and there's tabs here on the front. Make sure those all fit nicely before you start screwing things down. Otherwise, your housing will crack. Before putting all this back together again, now that you've cleaned your bolts, so there's still a couple more to go, out of your Dawn dishwashing liquid, make sure you clean the fine threads very well. You don't want to bung up the threads again, or, or if you leave any rust in there, it's going to cause more rust. So just wash that off, make sure they're clean, put them here to dry. If you're asking why I'm using water to clean something that may rust, this is going in a lawn sprinkler. It is going to get wet anyway, but the secret to that, we're going to put actual grease on these bolts right here and in the holes right here. While these are drying, taking a little actual grease, putting it in the threaded holes where the bolts are going to go. Doesn't take a whole lot, as long as it fills the very top of each of the holes. What's going to happen is as I put the bolts in, it will press the grease down into the rest of the unit. So hopefully that will keep the rust from forming as much as it was before. But uh, it was years since I installed this new block right here. So it's probably going to get rusty again, but we know what to do, right? Before you reassemble all this, make sure you get the screen that goes in here that caused all this mess to begin with. If you don't have that screen out there, dirt, mud, grass, hair, whatever else can get inside there and clog it up. You saw the, what came out of it. Make sure this is all clean here. The bolts are clean, they're oiled and greased, and the screen, you can get at any hardware store, basically the kind you find in the lawn and garden section for garden hoses and whatnot. Put that screen in there. It'll keep the crap out of here. All right, time to reassemble. Make sure all the fittings fit well, everything is together again. You don't want anything out of balance and make sure it fits together tight. If it's not fitting together well, you see a big crack, it is going to break when you reinstall this. So reinstall carefully, hose part goes in the back. Easy to tell how it goes on there. There's five holes and you put it on backwards, you will know right away. A little bit of grease on each of the bolts. Don't be afraid of it. it oozes out a little bit, you wipe it off. That's, you want excess right now. Excess is good. These bolts have a 9 16 head. Once your bolts are back in place and they're snug but not too tight, just flip this over. This goes in first. This will never ever stop spinning. All you have to do is get it down there where the threads are going to hang on to it. And that's what this does. This rotates in the direction that I am spinning it right now. And keeps it screwed in to the pieces. Reattach these, slide it in, screw them in place, slide it in, screw them in place. As long as one pointing one direction and one points the other direction, they will spin nicely for you and keep it turning and burning across your lawn while they do this job in waters.
and that's it. We are clog free now. We are ready to put that screen back in here. This unit is ready to go. So here at Do It Your Damn Self, I am proud to say that um, we have another success. See y'all next time. As I'm cleaning up my mess, I wanted to let everybody know that uh, DJ Shen Guns on Locked and Loaded Radio, Saturday, 1 o'clock, the best local music from Dallas. All the great metal bands around here playing out, playing their hearts out for everybody every weekend. You'll find them on Deep Dallas Radio, DJ Shane Guns.